bonjour mes amis, comment ça va aujourd'hui? <laughs> Hopefully by now you know what I just said. Uh, welcome to Daring to Dare, Chapter 3, A Standout in the Crowd, and Part 2. Now, A Standout in the Crowd. Well, I decided to make my prom dress. And as I said before, I could sew, I could make clothes. And I got this idea of gold sequins. And I got a pattern and I made the dress and there were sequins all over the house, I can remember. My mother actually let me use the dining room table, which I was shocked. I was shocked that she allowed me to do that. Put the sewing machine on there and all. Of course, I was very careful. Didn't want to mess anything up. But this is the dress that I made. I hope you can appreciate how beautiful that dress was. Gold sequins. This is the only picture that I have of that dress. Of course, my mother said it, I was beautiful. I do, I do believe she did. I don't remember my father's reaction. But I thought I was, I looked like a million dollars. I'm talking about shiny. <laughs> it was so shiny. Anyway, I had a date. He was a junior. And um, we went to the prom. And I know there were pictures taken. I never got any of them. But not one girl there said anything about my dress. Uh, they had nice dresses on, but mine was just so sparkly and alive. And, and um, I think I'm pretty sure I told them before that I was making my prom dress. So I don't know whether they were stunned, I don't know, overwhelmed, jealous. Anyway, I thought I looked great, and I did. I did look great. And I saved that dress for a while. I finally got rid of it, and now I'm sorry that I did. Well, before you know it, graduation day, June 1969. I had turned 16 in March. 15 years old, all through high school. And the last couple months, I was 16 years old. And I graduated the top 1% of my class. I know that for a fact. I know that there were three people, a girl and two boys, that were ahead of me for sure. And, um, but I was told I'm in the top 1% of the class. And there were 660 some kids there. So that's not bad. So I, I really stood out in the crowd there too. Also, guess what? You'll never guess. You'll never, never, know. never, 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 never guess. <laughs> I received an award for the best French student. Oh, I was so happy. How I got that award was, number one, I just picked up that language like, it, like I knew it all my life. That my pronunciation, everything was just great. But on my own, I wrote quite a few short stories in French and I showed them to my teacher and she was just she was just delighted so I think because I did that extra work I'm pretty sure that's why I got the award but I was very proud I was very proud that I received the French award and I continued on with French I had four years of French up to that point and I continued uh, two years after that uh, in, in a school, an adult school at night. Uh, so I had six years of French and I enjoyed every minute of it. Well, graduation was okay. You know, it was a beautiful day. They had it in the stadium. But I received no graduation party, which I think I should have had. Um, there's no pictures of my graduation, except possibly in my yearbook, but I don't think, I don't think so. There were just 
pictures of me in groups of crowds, but not on graduation day. So, but I did get a gift for my mother. Um, $25 I got. <laughs> my father later on asked me what I got. And I told him $25. And he just shook his head like he couldn't believe it. He asked me again, $25? I said, yes, Dad, $25. He went off with his head shaking. I know by that reaction, he thought I should have gotten more. At this point, of course, my mother was handling the money. Um, so he didn't want to do it. And uh, that's what I got for graduation. Yay! That's okay. I still, I was a standout in the crowd. And I decided that from now on, I was going to be a standout in the crowd. So come back and join me for part three, and you'll find out. Have a wonderful day. I appreciate your um, attention to my videos, and please subscribe. Please, you know, talk to me. Comments would be great. I would love to talk to people that um, have had my type of situation, but my background will show you how I had the perseverance, the determination, the stubbornness. That's the Dutch in me. <laughs> um, to be the best that I could be and to win over more of the unbelievable foes that I had coming up in my life. It's a good thing I didn't know what was going to happen. I'm, I'm not sure I would have survived it. <laughs> anyway, thanks and I'll see you next time. Au revoir.